You remember Jaws, right? Some of the creatures from the sea we're about to show you are so hideous looking, they'd make a great white tuck his fins between his legs. Hi, I'm Larry, and today on What Lurks Below, get your spare underwear, because this is the scariest alien sea creatures. Starting our ranking of alien fish that should be in their own monster movie, number 10, the blobfish. Looking like the ultimate couch potato with fins, there's something really eerie about this globby mound of fishy flesh. First discovered off the coast of New Zealand in 2003, it's been unseen for so long because it typically lives in really deep waters up to 3,900 feet, where the pressure is 60 to 120 times higher than sea level. This creature is all blob and no bite. Really, it's not a huge threat to most living things on the ocean floor, except for deep sea crustaceans that happen to float by. Its iconic appearance of fish Botox gone bad is the result of decompression damage from bringing up the fish from the extreme deep ocean to sea level. In the deep, it looks more like a typical bony fish. Still, in this state, it can give you the gross shivers just looking at it. How about this fish to look intimidating and dangerous? Coming in as number 9 in our list is the fang-toothed fish. It is also a deep sea dweller, in some cases being found at depths of more than 16,000 feet. As the long teeth in this baby would tell you, this is a predatory fish that uses those long sharp teeth in sort of an attack first and ask questions later method for mealtime. The teeth of the fang tooth are the largest in the ocean of any fish in proportion to its body size. As zombie-ish as they look, they are actually harmless to humans and rely on their sense of smell for hunting. As you can see, those long fangs are found on both the upper and lower part of the mouth, which never allows the fish to fully close it, which means it's always open for business. Next is something called the barrel eye fish, also known as a spook fish. This truly looks like something from a different planet. The most unusual feature of this fish is its transparent head, sort of like a glass canopy of a fighter jet so the pilot can see all around. When you look at the front of this creature, you see an obvious mouth and what appears to be two eyes just above. Those are actually the equivalent of nostrils. The eyes, well, those are the two two green round objects under the transparent head that are so sensitive they can spot prey with virtually no light at all. It will typically stay at a depth below the penetration of light so it can use those great eyes in a binocular fashion looking straight up or forward to hunt down its meal. To add to its alien qualities, the barrel eye has a number of luminous organs along its belly that give off as it digests what it's eaten, a relatively small and solitary creature the barrel eye is a species that scientists have known about since 1939 from dredging up carcasses, but it was not until 2009 that it was captured on video roaming the Pacific waters off the California coast. Number 7 is just one nasty looking sea creature, the giant isopod. These guys live in the cold deep waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans and can range from 3 to almost 20 inches long. They look like a cross between a beetle and a common roach, but they are much larger. While much bigger, they are actually relative to what is typically called the pill bug. Both can curl up into a ball to protect themselves with a layered hard shell when threatened by predators. While they look really creepy, they aren't predatory. They only look for food that's pretty much already dead, making them scavengers. In fact, most of the time when they are captured, they are found in fishing nets trying to feed off dead or crippled fish, big and small. They are sort of the buzzards of the sea. Next is a fish that is a master of disguise, the stonefish, possibly the most dangerous fish in the sea for two reasons. First, this guy sits on the ocean bottom like a piece of the ocean floor, an expert at camouflage. This fish looks exactly like a rock or a piece of coral. The second reason, it's dangerous. Its dorsal fin contains spines that inject a stout neurotoxin that is venomous and can be fatal to humans. Because they look like something you can harmlessly step on, the stonefish antivenom is the second 
most common antidote given to people in Australia because they're found in water and land. They aren't otherwise aggressive unless you're a small fish in the ocean, but watch your step because they aren't going to be anyone's doormat. The next fish on our top alien sea creatures is this little guy. Growing to about 6 inches long, this is the archer fish. You may think this fish doesn't look at all like an alien sea creature. In fact, it looks pretty typical as far as fish go, but it's not what this fish looks like as much as what it does. The archer fish hangs at the surface of the water, and when it spots an insect close, it shoots out a stream of water from its specialized mouth at its prey, knocking them down into the water to be gobbled up as soon as they hit. This fish can be found in fresh water and the ocean, but will hang around estuaries and coastal waters of India, Sri Lanka, Southeast Asia, and Northern Australia. These little guys as an adult fish can spit out a stream as far as 16 feet, but they're most accurate at 10 feet or less. That would qualify them to be a professional professional basketball player, I think. It's also been recently discovered they shoot off jets underwater too to uncover prey under the seabed silt. The archer fish may not look intimidating, but its uncanny archer-type activity with its special mouth makes it a terror to any little critters that hang out close to the water. The anglerfish, on the other hand, is a fish that should have a part in a Rocky Horror Picture Show. This guy is one ugly, scary, and alien-looking fish. It's not just because of the incredibly big mouth with those terrorizing teeth, but then he has this this appendage that is a quite unusual fleshy curved nightlight that hangs in front of its face to attract prey. This light called the esca is luminous and serves as a fishing lure so to speak for the angler to draw other fish to the vicious set of teeth. Once those choppers dig in, there's no letting go. The anglerfish sees all the earth's oceans as its home and the males are typically much smaller than the females. One other thing about about this nightlight, it's also used by the females to attract a male for mating time. Sort of a, hey buddy, I'm available sign. With faces like this, they deserve one another. This floating mash of flesh is up next, the vampire squid. This guy is found in the very deep depths of temperate and tropical ocean waters. These creepy creatures are about a foot long on average and typically have a velvety black color to a light red shade to their exterior depending on where you find it and how much light is available. They use two fins on either side of the mantle or head to motor through the water. The vampire squid also has eight arms that are connected by a thin skin of webbing. The inside of the arms have rows of fleshy spines, and the outer half of the arms have suckers. One rather unusual feature to this swimming set of arms is its ability to emit disorienting flashes of light from organs called photophores. They can flash in rapid-fire pulses or for minutes at a time. This creature gets its name because of the dark color of its skin, sort of a cloak-looking appearance with the webbed arms and its huge eyes that appear to be red. Like an iconic vampire, it does not feed off blood, but rather off dead organic matter that floats down from more shallow depths. The vampire squid looks creepy, but really, it's a type of vacuum cleaner of the deep ocean. This sea creature is one wicked-looking fish. If you want to call it a fish, scientifically it is, but it looks like the creatures in the movie Alien. This is really a creeper, and what's really weird is that the male and the female are so totally different. It's like they're not even the same species of fish. On one hand, the female is black, reaching a typical length of around 15 inches long, sports a long chin barbell, and fierce canine-like teeth used to eat other fish. The male is rather on the wimpy side. It's brown in color, only matures to about 2 inches in length with nothing on its chin. Doesn't even have a digestive system and apparently its only function, that's right, it has only one thing on its mind, to mate. Both male and female have sources of light along their bodies they can emit in the deep depths, but the wavelength of that light approaches the infrared range and is nearly invisible to the human eye and difficult for their natural prey to see. When their dinner gets close enough to the light, 
those teeth go to work. And topping the list of truly alien sea creatures is this one. Look away if you must, but this is known as a goblin shark, a rare deep sea shark, also known as an elfin shark. This hideous looking water dweller is thought to be a living fossil because it carries some very primitive traits that scientists say date back to 125 million years ago. Its long Pinocchio looking snout and small eyes give it a unique look that is magnified when it wants to feed. Its jaw is what truly makes it goblin looking, connected to special ligaments. Its mouth can protrude several inches forward with teeth that can truly rip its prey apart. It has a rather flabby body for a shark with small fins and a pink complexion. These unusual sharks typically grow between 10 and 15 feet long and are found in oceans across the globe, but it's thought to live in the deeper depths. That's why it's not seen or caught by humans very often. But then again, who would want to see something this terrifying on a regular basis? Basically, a small fish that can grow up to about 15 to 16 centimeters in length. They are mainly found in warm places like the Indian Ocean and are omnivores in nature. This genre of fish feeds on zooplankton mainly and can survive in the most 